Alright, so it looks like we have a new shield update guys, uh, shield experience upgrade 7.1. So let's go ahead and check out the details. Alright, private early access, shield preview 7.1. Alright, so we have GeForce Now Beta. Transform your TV into a PC gaming machine with GeForce Now Beta. Access to free games like Fortnite plus over 225 titles from digital stores like Stream, Uplay, and Epic. Look like Netflix got an update, YouTube got an update with Google Assistant. You can now control playback with your voice. Try saying fast forward 30 seconds or play next video. Enable your personalized channel called recommendation. So that's pretty cool. New Shield apps, IFC, AMC, Bloomberg, Wired. We have new games, so Suzy Cube, Sir Questionnaire. We have Evil Land 2, Implosion, Clockwork, uh, Snake Escape stick man and here are the enhancements i know a lot of you guys are excited about this particular area so enhancements add options to enable video share on your oreo so basically what this is it allows you to stream live and it also allows you to screen record once again so i know you guys know that with the 8.0 update the streaming and the screen recording went away with now it looked like it's back so that's pretty cool so uh, it tells you how to get to it so go to your settings system and video share to enable a couple of the enhancements um adds restart so you can um just go to your quick settings by long pressing the back button uh, from the home screen and it will give you the option to do restart power off which is big on the shield i know i hated the fact that the shield just goes to sleep and it's always on so you do have that option to power it off now enables a new shortcut to instantly sleep your shield so quick tap on the home and back button and it will put your shield to sleep so it also adds 120 hertz display modes for supported tvs and monitors pretty cool better for gaming and latest accessory firmware so look like there's also a firmware update for the controllers as well as the remotes so pretty cool all right so that's all the details let's go ahead and download and uh, check it out all right download and verify let's go ahead and restart to install So after the update, it's going to tell you that shield accessory has an update and this is for my remote. Uh, let me just cancel this and let's go ahead and we'll go to details. Automatically detects what you have connected to your system. And so let's just hit continue and it detected my remote and it's updating right now to version 1.35. So there it is remote just updated and what i want to do is just go for some of the features the main hidden points for this update so first thing we're going to do is we're going to check out the nvidia shared option so what i'm going to do is go to my settings i'm going to go down to system and there it is right there guys nvidia share so click on that i'm going to go ahead and turn it on and it tells you to hold the home button um, for access so let's go home first and let's go ahead and hold the home button So allow NVIDIA share service to take pictures, record video, click allow. Allow NVIDIA share service to record audio, allow again, allow. And now here we are guys. So you do have the option for instant replay, record, screen record, you have broadcast. You also have the option for a screenshot. Up there you do have your mic setting. So if you do have a mic connected, you can go ahead and mute it. This is your chat, so you can enable your chat during your broadcast. And this is your settings right here. So you can change the quality, you have your Twitch settings, you have instant replay, status, mic volume, you can also adjust the layout. All right, so pretty cool. So that was one big um, thing for the update. Of course, NVIDIA Share will allow you to do so much. I know you guys are missing that feature. The other thing is that it adds the restart to a quick option. So all I have to do is long press the back button. And there it is. Do have the option to restart right there, which is pretty cool. It does have the sleep now option as well. Another update it says it does add the power option, but if you read closely, it says it's only available for the Shield Pro as well as the Shield 2015. So mine's a newer Shield, so that option isn't there. So if I hit the back button, 
you can see all I have is a restart option as well as a sleep now so I don't have the power off option so if you do have the shield pro the 2015 version you will have the option to power it off it also enables a new shortcut to instantly sleep your shield so quick tap home and back button and it should quick sleep so let's go ahead and try it out so I will be playing with this a little bit more just to see if any bugs or any new additions that I haven't covered or wasn't covered in the um, early release access preview and just let you guys know. So that's it for this preview. I know a lot of you guys are not going to have this update as of yet, but uh, do me a favor whenever you receive this update. Please drop your comments in the comment section. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do another setup video. Essentially, it should be about the same thing as I did in the previous videos. But if you guys want something new, uh, let me know to go ahead and do that. Doesn't make sense me doing one right now because once this update usually takes effect, you will lose a lot of your settings, a lot of your apps. So better off just wait till the update is released. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.